We're here uh, in Slovenia, 2024, for an uh, amazing workshop that this gentleman brought up with Pat Davidson. Uh, we've got uh, Matei and Ziga in a beautiful place. And guys, take it away. What actually brought you for uh, creating this amazing space? Well, uh, thanks for coming, by the way. It's really great to have you. And um, so it's we're, uh, we've come to like the age of 18, I think now. Uh, so we've had bigger ground for 18 years. Uh, so the child has grown adult. And um, yeah, it came about because um, we were former athletes. Giga was a basketball player, myself a football player, soccer for those of you in the States. And uh, yeah, we kind of finished with our active careers and we're looking for a place a space to keep on training like athletes and um, so we're like you know let's uh along with my brother luca who many of you may know so it was like okay what what can we do um what what kind of training would we like to have what kind of environment because that was missing for us as athletes growing up so Especially in Slovenia, there were no facilities like this before in 2006, 2007. Exactly, yeah. To be honest, I don't think there are many in Europe. Well, okay, thank you. Thank you. But Slovenia. now I think I think we all agree that the strength and conditioning and, and fitness industry or, or, or space has grown. It's matured a little bit. So there are like several, you know, spaces like this across Europe where you can find really good training environments, top class coaches, you know, let's be let's be honest. So we've tried to grow not just, you know, in terms of like the facility, but also, you know, ma yeah, personally make, making sure that we continually educate ourselves, that we remain at the top of the game, also exposing ourselves to, to different types of education you know not just being stuck in one model but bringing presenters from you know across the spectrum so you know conditioning um uh, strength training coordination agility all that types of stuff and you know you remember that we essentially we're training everyone you know when obviously i don't think there's many facilities that can afford to just you know focus on top class athletes so you know we're working with general pop as well and um but trying to remain cognizant that you know we need you know a big toolkit and also um a variety of um characters essentially you know across uh the, the team so you know we have uh giga myself two more uh uh, joint owners in the form of uh, Marco and Gregor, who everyone brings, you know, their little spices to to the to the, to the dish, along with the the great team of coaches that we have. Um, so maybe if I, well, I've forgotten to mention something here in that regard. Well, I think you you mentioned most of the stuff. So uh, the gym it's around a little less than one thousand square meters. We have two training areas. We're here in a smaller gym which is mostly for free weights, uh, small groups, semi-private. Upstairs, we have three, 370 square meters, um, which is more on, of an open space uh, for team training. Uh, usually at team training, we have up to max 24 people and also a semi-private area. Um, also, we have also a, a warm-up area, which we found really useful uh, because people can uh, Come get to the ready, gym before, get ready, and also after the class is over, you don't have to kick them out. Yeah, yeah. So they can hang out gently, here, gently, yeah. just you know, cool down, not have to show. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. So great the, the vibe. And that was the idea behind it, like how we can you know keep people longer here without you know um, compromising our profitability. Let's say. Please. So you have on one side you have the business side, and then of course you have customer experience, and they need to match together. Um, You've been here for seven years, correct? Here at this location, correct. What's the next step? What's missing? Or what do you want to kind of indulge yourself sort of bringing in? Because someone might say that this is just perfect. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're always growing also, like Matin mentioned. Uh, we are constantly uh, seeking new knowledge. And with this, you know, you, you get exposed to new things and new opportunities. For example, I think right now at this stage, what we're missing is some... Um, machines like knee extension for example or smith machine because we're also now um more uh active in rehab area okay mm -hmm. so you're missing you know for certain certain type of client maybe a, a specific machine that could help uh with the training process plus there's so many areas that we can still improve right so i think this is going to be just endless you know uh, continuing improvement exactly uh, yeah. so maybe if i can say one thing uh just carrying on from what jesus was saying because we've known 
kind of um, jumped into the rehab space quite a lot as well. So, you know, we we don't want to be kind of like early adopters in terms of like technology, but there is so much now, you know, validated, reliable tech out there that we can use to kind of, you know, help our clients, um, you know, either general pop, athletes, performance, or, you know, rehab clients get back to their best. Um, and uh, so we're, we're introducing stuff step by step, you know, I'm just trying things first. So we've had, um, you know, force plates from that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Years. yeah, yeah. So, um, got, you know, BFR, we've got, um, you know, VBT technology that we use. Um, so, uh, output sports we've teamed up with, and, uh, we're just about to start testing some really for me, exciting technology, um, some Plantiga, which is okay. a, a company out of, um, I think Canada. Mm -hmm. Um, I think, uh, I think, yeah. one, of the, one of the, um, minds behind the technology is Matt Jordan, who have, well, uh, you know, basically, um, followed for a long time. I would say one of the, um, but, um, mentors who I haven't been mentored by in person, but just followed his work, uh, for the last like 15 years now. Um, so we look really looking forward to kind of, you know, taking a step forward, um, in terms of like objective feedback that we provide to athletes and clients. Um, because, you know, sometimes there's a piece missing between like the medical side of things and the training side of things. And sometimes we need to data to provide, you know, okay, look, we did this and this is the outcome. Yeah. Um, obviously there's subjective uh, data that we can count on, but yeah, we're looking at implementing technology that is valid, rel reliable, and that will take us a step forward in, in our client's performance journey. That's incredible because that's a massive window opening because exactly. unfortunately, that kind of uh, Western kind of way of living, mm -hmm. people are becoming more crooked, let's say. For sure. So we need to focus on optimizing their movement but at the same time, if there's pain, we need a different approach. Exactly. And that's a really good way of you guys thinking, as you said, reliable, which is what we actually need mm -hmm. mostly in the this era uh and trust and from what i've seen here you guys are doing an amazing job and um so looking forward for what's coming next that's so <laughs> yeah thank you very much i said very much and you guys